Okay, our next guest is Ted Barron, the executive director of the DeBartolo Performing Arts Center here on campus. And Ted, welcome to Notre Dame Day. Hi, Leanne. Thanks for having me. As a Performing Arts Center, live in-person events are at the center of what you do. Talk to us about some of the ways that DPAC and your staff have been able to pivot over the last year. Right. So it's been a, an extremely difficult year for the arts in general, if you look around nationwide. Uh, obviously, the visibility of Broadway closing and on a more local level, our, our uh, arts community presenters have been really struggling this year. Um, and we were kind of in the same boat where we're used to being a presenter of the arts. We have a presenting series where we bring in visiting artists and music and theater and dance. And with restrictions on performances themselves, as well as public gatherings of people, uh, that just wasn't possible. So we had to kind of retool and think about how we could best serve the university's mission, which really this year was focused on just trying to preserve the student in-person experience. So one of the advantages of the DeBartolo Performing Arts Center relative to this issue is that we have really large spaces. Uh, we have large venues which work really well when you have needs for socially distancing. So uh, essentially our spaces were taken over by the registrar's office for the year. And we are now hosting uh, classes that we've never seen before. Classes from the philosophy department, political science, uh, engineering, economics, and our staff has kind of rededicated uh, pretty much all of its energy to supporting that and making it possible, whether it's helping students who are unfamiliar with our spaces find their way or supporting faculty, which has been kind of a bigger effort so that they can successfully uh, perform the dual delivery method, which has been uh, kind of a big deal on campus this year where we can both teach in person to students while also uh, allowing students to zoom into classes when, when those needs arise. Now, thinking about the upcoming academic year and a new season at DPAC, what are some of the things that we can look forward to? Well, as we head into next year, uh, basically this past year, we had scheduled a full presenting series season. So we had a full mix of artists that were supposed to be on our calendar, and we had to postpone uh, most of those events. So that was really disappointing. But the good news is, is that a lot of those artists, they're in the same boat. So they've been very understanding about rescheduling. So we're really hopeful that um, some of the artists that we had announced for this past year, including Yo-Yo Ma and the Boston Pops, Matthew Morrison, and that we'll be able to reschedule those artists so that we can present them as part of our presenting series next year. We're hoping to make an announcement in the coming weeks, and that'll be, uh, if you follow our website, you'll get more information about that. Oh, good. We look forward to that. Ted, thank you so much for joining us on this Notre Dame Day.